All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we are going to be in the 135 pound division where Gervonta Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia just had a press conference and a couple big bits of news came out involving Floyd Mayweather Jr., CEO Leonard Ellerbee, and rehydration clauses. Let's talk about that in this video. <laughs> Right. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be 135 pound division. Just got done watching the Ryan Garcia, Gervonta Davis press conference that took forever in a day because Gervonta Davis was two hours late to the press conference. However, in the midst of it, it made me listen to all the commentary ahead of time and got some real inform in interesting information. And on top of it, Gervonta Tank Davis, when he arrived, arrived with a surprise person by his side, and that is the Floyd Mayweather Jr. CEO, Leonard Ellerby. Now, before I get into the details, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. Really, really does mean a lot. Um, but let's get into this, okay? So first and foremost, clearly Gervonta Tank Davis still has a relationship with Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Mayweather Promotions because in the press conference for the fight with Ryan Garcia, uh, Gervonta Tank Davis walked out with Leonard Ellerby, and when they gave their speeches, uh, uh, Leonard Ellerby was one of the people at the podium talking about the fight having been made, and he did so in, capa in his capacity as the CEO of Mayweather Promotions. So, <laughs> real funny situation going on there, Extreme, ex especially since over the course of the last two years or so, or the last year or so, there were so many reports and so much talk about how uh, how about how Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Mayweather Promotions didn't have anything to do with each other. And at, but at the at the right after the fight that took place um, between Roly Romero and uh, Gervonta Tang Davis, Gervonta Davis walked out and said, hey, uh, Mayweather Promotions for life. So it appears as if they those guys continue to have the relationship, still have a business relationship. Something that you should, I think, is should be really known and recognized because there is almost no way whatsoever that Floyd Mayweather Jr. does not have a lot of say so uh, in the PBC itself, seeing as the PBC was pretty much established right along with Mayweather Promotions and that and that Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Mayweather Promotions put on most of the big fights that the PBC was involved in during the establishment of the PBC. Obviously, the number one guy in the PBC is Al Heyman, who is also the number one guy along with Leonard Ellerby uh, and Floyd Mayweather Jr. with Mayweather with Mayweather promotions. So it was I thought it was good to see that put to bed a lot of the conversations, hopefully that, you know, Floyd had just done him dirty and doesn't want him to succeed. And all of the other stuff that came, came up, come out about, came out, uh, came out about that. Very, very good to see that take place. Now, there were some also in this press conference is some shots taken and uh, at Gervonta Davis from Ryan Garcia, who revealed some of the um, uh, stipulations that he agreed with in order to get the fight. One of them was a rehydration clause uh, in the fight for 10 pounds, which means that when Gervonta Davis and uh, Ryan Garcia fights, they will have a, they'll have the original weigh in. And then the original weigh in the first, the day before weigh in, uh, Ryan Garcia can only weigh th uh, 136 pounds where, uh, and at, I, in a second day weigh in, uh, uh, Ryan Garcia can only weigh 146 pounds. He's not going to be allowed to, uh, to blow up more than 10 pounds, uh, for, you know, for the second day. Now, 
I'm sure people are going to say, okay, well, you know, that is a big competitive edge for Gervonta Davis uh, in the fight. And it is definitely going to be a limiting factor uh, for Ryan Garcia, you know, to not to be able to rehydrate fully, seeing as he really is a big guy. But at the same time, Ryan Garcia, it sounds to me like it's a give and take. Ryan Garcia wanted to, did not want to come all the way down to 135 pounds. He wanted the fight in the 140 pound division, which is a big, a big um, advantage for him, especially seeing as seeing that Jermonte Davis is a guy that could probably make still make 130 pounds. Right. But um, so the rehydration clause, you know, seems to me like, you know, to be a little bit of a give and take um, similar to the fact that Jermonte Davis is even fighting Ryan Garcia at a weight above 135 pounds because Jermonte Davis could, again, easily make 130 pounds like he did just a few fights ago when he fought Leo's when he fought Leo Santa Cruz. So I think all of that is just it is what it is. Ryan Garcia agreed to it. You know, this is not the first time that this has happened. But at the same time, I will say that, you know, whenever those rehydrations are around, people are going to point to me like, ah, you know, is that really fair? Is somebody trying to get an advantage or not trying to get an advantage? And yeah, you are definitely trying to limit somebody from having, from being able to freely gain weight, you know, after the weigh-in where, you know, Gervonta is going to be able to go to the weigh-in, um, where Gervonta is going to be able to go to the weigh-in and be able to, you know, gain as much weight as he wants to that night before and re replenish his body. And Ryan Garcia is going to be limited in that. I just hope, you know, that it really doesn't truly, truly, truly affect him, and, you know, in any bad way, because it's a really good fight. But also another thing that Ryan Garcia continued to do in the whole promotion, the whole, uh, um, the whole, press conference pointed to was that this is the biggest fight of the year and pointing towards the fact that it is a situation where you're now getting to see, um, you know, two fighters, you know, really taking chances and making the big fight and kind of getting getting past the problem in boxing that that is out there with big fights not getting made. And, you know, you can't help but just every time I heard that to immediately think, OK, we're talking about uh, Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford and how that fight didn't get made. And as much as excitement, as much excitement as there was in this press conference and the interest in this fight, you nobody's going to be able to convince me that it's on par with with what Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford would be if those guys were actually able to make that fight. Um, but at the end of the day, man, maybe this fight can can, you know, can get them get all parties involved over there excited enough where they can actually make this fight and get this fight done as well. Um, I I don't know, but, you know, it is what it is anyway. I just thought that that was real interesting stuff again. Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Mayweather Promotions clearly involved in Gervonta Davis's career, even though they're not doing the direct promotion for him. Uh, also, you know, the rehydration clause was interesting and the shots at the Errol Spence Terrence Crawford fight. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.